welcome to all things airy on um, today we're going to be making refrigerator style pickles and they are going to be delicious as soon as i said pickles it just started but, uh, but um yeah we're making refrigerator style pickles very simple recipe guys okay get our camera turned around here so he can see what we're doing We've got our fresh cucumbers from my friend's garden. Got a little brown sugar, salt of your choice, but we're using the canning and pickling salt by Martin. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit in here to see what it does. Got our thyme, dill, weed, crushed red, red pepper to give us a little spice. And this is gonna give it that lime taste that I love so much. So just sprinkling in a little bit of that in there. I'm using this everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's just because it has mustard seeds in it. And I've seen a lot of people say, be sure to use mustard seeds. Adding a little black pepper in as well. And we've got our um, Pyrex glass. Cups, pot for our brine got some serrano peppers that I'm going to add only to maybe one or two jars just to make it super spicy. I don't want to make everything uh, extra spicy, especially for the hubs and the kids. So, um, and then of course, fresh garlic that we're going to peel and drop into the jars. But first, our brine. We're going to use one cup of water one cup of vinegar, pour it in, add our salt, which is, can you see that? One tablespoon, and then a fourth, let's see, a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar. We don't want to make it too sweet, so just add the sugar and the salt kind of to your tasting but we don't want it either way too salty or too sweet and the sugar is really just to balance out that salt and balance out the brine so i'll show you what that looks like shortly got our cup of water and then we're just going to balance it out with the vinegar and i'm using the heinz apple cider vinegar all right there so we've got our two cups boiler there. Salt. Sugar. And while our brine comes to a boil and that's to help dissolve that salt and that little sugar into the water. It'll do it if you do it at room temperature too but this speeds up that process. So we're letting that boil. And we are going to come back over here and start slicing our cucumbers. Got this little slicer, really cheap and inexpensive. I'm going to put it on three, which is the largest, and um, slice these cucumbers. I'm also going to do some in spear shape because I've got a little one that won't eat pickles unless they are in a spear shape. So, and you want to make sure that you cut these ends off and do not put them into your pickles. Um, it keeps them from getting crispy. So. We're cutting that off, add to the compost, but all we want is the actual cucumber. I am getting ready to peel our garlic too. All right, we've got the garlic all broken up from the clove. And one trick that I learned is to actually put this garlic in the microwave for five seconds and these little skins will actually slip off. So. We are doing that to get this garlic all peeled. Slicing, slicing, slicing. Little big like slices that we get. Slicer. Y'all, our 
garlic peeled. Garlic peeled, a few slices there. We are still waiting on the brine to cool off. So I'm just gonna continue getting all our slices together. So now I just came back through and seasoned all the cucumber slices. Just mixing that seasoning up throughout the whole batch. As you can see, I didn't cut all of them yet. I don't want to make too many pickles. So starting off with one. Got the seasoning going. Then next we are going to add the garlic, add our peppers, add our seasoned cucumbers, add the brine. Close it and put it in the fridge. All right, I decided to cut those serrano peppers open just a little bit or until little pieces because I want my pickles spicy. Okay, I want them spicy. Well, the jar that's for me. So I'm gonna add maybe about two pieces to each jar that I want really spicy. So and here we go. Some people chop their garlic to little pieces but I don't find it necessary so I'm going to drop our garlic in there add those two pieces of serrano pepper that I mentioned and throw the cucumbers inside cucumbers inside Delicious already. I'm going to kind of move them around so you can get as many in there as possible. Right, that's going to be it for that drawer. As you can see, it is pretty full. Cool. And using our funnel, you don't have to use this, but it just makes it easy to pour things inside your drawers without wasting. So pouring that brine on and over the pickles and the seasonings. All right, and as you can see that solution or the brine that we made up, the one cup of vinegar, the one cup of water was just enough to completely fill one mason jar. So I'm probably gonna put a few more pickles in here just to take up some of that room and bring some of that brine to the surface. Add one more pepper. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. Putting our lid on and giving it a good shake. And it's going in the refrigerator for at least five days, but we're gonna do 12 days just to make sure our pickles are settled, juicy, and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions and uh, be sure to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And these are our refrigerator pickles from Fresh Cucumbers. Until next time, bye for now.